Shalom beloved. Our verse for today is the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, verse 16. It reads, And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, as was his custom, he entered the synagogue on the Sabbath and stood up to read. Jesus, through God and through man, took flesh for our sake. He was truly human. Therefore, born as human, he grew up in a human family. He had a village, a place where he grew up, and that was in Nazareth. And then he began his public mission. But when he had begun his public mission, which took place mostly in the area of Galilee and culminated in Jerusalem, surely he did not forget that he had his roots. He went back to Nazareth where he grew up. He identified with his people. That is a great teaching for us. Many times, when we succeed in life through effort and the grace of God, some of us tend to forget our roots. Some of us tend to forget our humble beginnings. Some of us tend to forget that we, we are placed by God by divine design to begin from there so that when we have attained our high positions, our privileges, our successes, we come back to evangelize, not only in religious sense, to evangelize in the sense of bringing the good news of our success down to our roots and bringing them up Showing them the light to be better than what they were. That is exactly what Jesus did. He entered the Sabbath in Nazareth, the place of his growth, on a Sabbath day, as was the custom of the Jews, as was the custom of the people, as he was also accustomed to do. Remember? Growing up, Jesus was a Jew. However, he came with something new. But so as to introduce that which is new, he had to identify with his people. He had to show them that brotherhood. And then from that established love, he brings in that which is new. Exactly that happened in this text. That is where he was given a text to read, and there is written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for the Lord God has anointed me, from the prophecy of Isaiah. And all eyes were on him, and he said, Behold, as you look, this text is being fulfilled. Jesus comes with the Holy Spirit. The spirit that renews all things. He was a man of his culture. But he did not just come to belong to the culture. He came to bring something new to the culture. And that is exactly what Christianity is. We belong to a people. We are a man, a man, women of a certain and then we come with the Christian message to draw out what is good, to bring newness into it and take away what is evil. That is what enculturation actually means in Christian theology. And what is the good news, taking flesh, if not, that it goes into a society and makes it better. And so, each one of us as a Christian has a duty to bring the gospel to our concrete places, to enculturate the gospel wherever we find ourselves. We ask for this grace that we understand what it means to preach the good news as Jesus did. And as we do this, may we 
renew the face of the earth. Amen. Remain blessed in the Lord.